Okay, hey. Energy focus for the week. Come on in and join me. As we get started, we are going to take a moment or two and just send some energy out to Australia. The International Center of Reiki has been doing Reiki at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., wherever you are, so there's a nice ripple effect. And evidently, there has been some rain coming down on Australia. So we'll just take a moment <clears throat> as people are coming in, sending some energy out to all those in Australia, the people, the animals, the wildlife, all that energy. And just send it out. See the area surrounded with this beautiful rain that's going to come in. Yes, the indigenous people are out there singing and dancing and chanting, helping to bring all the shift around. And so wherever you are at 7 a.m., 7 p.m., just take a moment and put it in your prayers to send it out. Let this energy be sent out all around. We'll just take a moment, another minute or two, to send this energy out. People are coming in and joining me tonight. And just see the whole country surrounded in this beautiful light and allowing this transformation for whatever reason it is to come forward for them. Sending energy out to the people, to the animals, to the wildlife, to the firefighters, all those responding to help switch the energy, to the indigenous people for showing up. Sending it out into the universe. Let this energy go out and surround all of those out there. And let this energy shift and change all for the highest good. Let that transformation occur, which always occurs with fire, with transformation. Sending it out. Seeing everybody surrounded in this light. Seeing the rains coming in. Putting the fire out. Shifting the energy for all. Another minute, sending it out. Sealing it in. Nice. So welcome, welcome everyone. Tarianne Hyman here. This is my live stream for my Empowered Spirit Show. We're going to talk a little bit about the cosmos for this week. We're going to bring our energies in to ground, to prepare for the week ahead, and pull some cards as well. There's a lot going on in the universe. We moved through that new year. Yes, happy new year. We're coming to the very end of the holidays, right? So we could be feeling a little bit of that anxiousness about going back to work, getting back into routine. It's kind of laughing at myself today saying, you know, I don't like the holidays. And then like, I don't want them to be over. So I'm kind of in that catch 22. Got to laugh at yourself, right? Definitely. But we are preparing for a really big full moon eclipse coming in on the 10th. So that's really the big news for this week. It's coming in on the 10th into the 11th. We're going to feel it. All right. We're going to feel it. It is in cancer. All right. We're going to move right into the week, into that moon in cancer, which is really intense energy. It's emotional. It's really pulling on us to look at what we're doing to make those changes and those shifts that we need. The sun is in Capricorn. All right. And that's some of that hard work, that earnest community work that we're all been work looking at. And then the opposing part is the moon in cancer. And that's going to really just pull on that emotional body. So look at it. It's been really crisp out there, even tonight looking at the sky. So notice what it is for you. And the things that are going to come in are going to be like things that you need to look at. And that's what happens when we have the eclipse. All right. It's going to like, it kind of blocks in and then you're going to be able to like halo see around. So what is it that you've been blocking out of your life or your awareness, or your consciousness? Because that energy is going to come around and it's going to ask you to look at what it is going on for you. All right. Also very close to the uh, nodes. The North and South nodes, the North node being in Cancer, the South node being in Capricorn. And that's the energy pushing you on what is your purpose. Pushing you out of the comfort zones, which doesn't always feel great, right? But the good thing about getting out of your comfort zone is that eventually it'll catch up with you. And as you move out of that comfort zone, that new level will catch up. And all of a sudden, before you know it, that'll be the norm. But we have to take that opportunity to make that first step forward. Little by little, doesn't have to be a huge change, but little by little. And the things in your life that you've been kind of pushing down or not wanting to look at, that could be what comes forward. 
So those that are in the cardinal signs, the cancers, the Libras, forget the other cardinal signs, you're going to feel it a little bit more than the others. So just know the best thing you can do is ground your energy, is really spend some time in meditation this week, really spend some time in noticing what it is that's shifting for you or what it is that you want to shift as well. And notice what that energy is so that you can work with it. It makes it easier to work with when we know these things. So we're going to start the work week out like we all feel a little bit of trepidation, getting back into the swing of things. And that can mean so many things for so many people, getting back to work, getting back to eating right, getting back to our yoga practices, getting back to what it is you need to do to feel really good and strong in what you're doing so that you can then make those shifts. If we're all over the place and we're so out of who we are, it is hard. All right, I just went to yoga class tonight, feeling really nice and relaxed. It's one of the wall classes over at Practice Works. Great class, helping me to release, helping me to let go. And the body is important. We're in that Capricorn energy. A lot of the planets, all the planets, every planet. Okay, I'm exaggerating just a little bit, but everything right now is moving into this Capricorn energy. And so we have a lot of that force of energy really propelling us out of that comfort zone. And again, it's not going to feel the greatest to some. Some people like change and you're going to be like, what's the big deal? I know for me, I resisted a little bit, all right? I've been called the queen of resistance, all right? But when I do embrace the change, it is so much better. And so we're all going to be moving through that energy this week. It's the beginning of the year. We've got a lot of world events going on. And we're also going to see a lot of that come to the surface. All right, later in the week, after we move through that huge portal of energy and the eclipse, we're moving into some Pluto energy. We're going to move into some energy that's going to really kind of push the buttons on our financial scene. So notice what's going on. Notice it for yourself. I've already seen some predictions for me, and I'm sitting here with some stuff going on myself. Got a broken water pipe. Got to fix it, right? unexpected will come up. And that is actually what happens when we work at the eclipse energy as well. So we started this energy back in December. We're sitting in the middle. That was the new moon. They generally do come around in twos, right? And now this is the completion of that energy. So lots of things going on. So again, slowing down, easing back into the work week, centering yourself, spending time, just really kind of breathing, asking yourself, what are the changes I'm moving through? I know we all want to set these great big old intentions of the new year. And then a few weeks in, we're like done. So don't let that be the case for you. Notice the shifts that you want to move through. Notice where you're hanging out in your comfort zone. We all have them. And just see what it is that you can do to move it forward a little bit. All right, and then that's how you're going to start to see those changes. So each little shift that you do does add up. I was out at the medicine wheel today. We were moving those rocks around. Beautiful day, beautiful, glorious blue sky. We were shifting the rocks, picking up the sticks, cleaning it up. Great reflection for how you can work with your life as well. Just little shifts are going to make a difference, especially right here at the beginning of the year. All right, so really the main emphasis is that full moon that comes in on the 10th into the 11th. Notice what it is. Notice your intentions because all this energy has been building since the last new moon. You can still write them out, work with them. And then as that full moon comes in, you really want to just like open up to the fullness of your life, of who you are and what you're working on. And then after the full moon into next weekend, some of that energy will start to release. So do notice where your energy body is. All right, most of us go around with it wide open. Start to call it in. And we'll do that in the meditation tonight. Start to call it in. Start to pull it back. Start to feel that alignment coming in so that you're not too far ahead of yourself. When we get too far ahead of ourselves, it's easy to get a little spinning of the mind, and we don't want to do that, all right? And it's also easy to get your emotional body really out of sorts, especially with all this cancer energy and the full moon coming in. We don't want to do that either. We want to release the emotion, become neutral, use that neutral mind, release the emotions, keep the, keep the knowledge, keep what you're feeling, understand it, don't push the emotions away. But just don't let it like explode and get so much bigger than who you are. All right. Being I'm a cancer person, right? And I have that energy and that intuitiveness. So for me, it is really important. And for many of you as well, that you do take the time to release the excess energy. Make sure it's not, you know, like whose energy are you holding on to? Make sure you clear out whatever's not yours and really tune in and then go deeper. Go deeper into that essence of your intuitive abilities. What is it for you? Use all those senses, and that's the way to use this energy. Don't fight it. Don't get into the mental plane. That's too much air energy. Don't go there, but understand where you are and keep bringing yourself back to the present moment, all right? So again, as you start the work week, start slow, all right? Take a few moments at work to get your bearings again. 
Feel what your intentions are. Maybe you need to set some intentions for your work, all right? Most of us set them in our personal life, but you can also set it for your work as well. And then you're going to feel the energy moving in, and you're going to feel some of that excessive energy coming forward. So each day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, up until Thursday, Friday, release, let go, so that you can be centered with what it is that you have to do. All right, still good time to put intentions out, still a good time to really look at your year, what is your purpose, and where can you get out of your comfort zone? Those are a lot of the questions coming up. Again, that Capricorn energy is earnest energy. Do your work, do your diligence. Saturn energy is the same thing. Pluto is gonna bring in some of that expansive, unexpected stuff as well as Uranus. And all of them are coming into Capricorn. So lots of energy coming together for everybody. So be sure to slow down, Take some time for yourself and continue to nurture that part as you move back into this work week. All right, so let's just take a moment, ground our energy, pulling it in wherever you are if you can. Just take a nice deep inhale. <sighs> and exhale away. Maybe you've been out for the whole two weeks. Maybe you've been out since Christmas, who knows? But take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, just pull all that energy in. Take a moment and feel your feet on the earth. And begin to call back in your energy. Pull it in. Imagine your auric field is way open. Start to pull it in. Energy follows intention. So just intend to bring it right in. Pulling it in. Pulling it in. This is going to help you not take on everybody else's energy. And then call in your higher self. And feel that alignment right on top of the crowd. Call in the higher self. Feel the lining, dropping into the heart, dropping into your spirit. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Let that breath open up the body and each exhale, pulling the energy in closer and closer, feeling yourself grounding with Mother Earth each and every day. This is a great exercise to do. Pull the energy back in. Take a moment and ask, whose energy am I holding on to? and then release it out, let it go, energy follows intention. Continue the breath, inhaling and exhaling. Let us just take a moment and honor where we are right here in this beautiful new year, the season of winter, just in the medicine wheel today. In the medicine wheel, this direction, this season is found in the direction of the north. We honor our dreams, our visions, we bring in the energy of our ancestors and all those that have crossed before us. We pull in that energy for us, setting the energy for guidance and protection as you move through this week. We honor and call in the direction of the north, the east, the south, and the west, above us, below us, right into the very center, pulling your energy in, taking a moment and setting your intention for this week. Feeling that intention ride right into that third eye center and embody that energy for these intentions. As these intentions come in, how do you want to feel? Joyous, happy, love, abundance, prosperity, and bring that elevated emotion with you. Sending that energy out through your auric field. Feel that alignment for you. Setting those intentions and feeling those elevated emotions. Coming forward for this week. Take another deep inhale. And exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. Let that energy, those elevated emotions, just let it vibrate through your auric field. Keeping it close around you right now. As you go and set this energy for your week. Inhale and exhale, bringing the awareness back, feeling a little more centered and calmer and prepared to start this week. So as we look to the cards, you have to say spirit just loves amusement because the first card that comes up is the moon and that's our biggest influence for this week. So the universe is really confirming that this is important. Important to take the time within. Important to open up to your intuitive abilities. Important to use your psychic energy. Trust your gut. Bring that energy in. Get out of the mind. 
bring the energy in deep within who you are. This is the main influence for this week. Can't stress it enough. Taking time to slow down, to go within, to journal, to really ask your inner self what's going on. All right, all of us, that's a great card for us. All right, so if you chose card number one, it's another major, um, this is the Empress. So this is a card about knowing who you are, about really being firm with the roots, the tree trunk roots in the ground, and then the auric field, like shining that radiance out. Know your energy. Here's that moon again coming in. But look how beautiful this aura is. And when we breathe, when we use that pranic energy, we will create that auric field around us. So this is how you open up to this card. All right, beautiful energy for that. The second card, this is a great card because it's the Ten of Pentacles. This is like a gratitude, a wish card. Things are working out. Things are going well. Ten also equals an ending and a beginning, right? One plus zero is one. So this is a time to say, like, all of this energy from last year, be grateful what it is that it was, let it go. Time to start again. And this is in the earth plane. This is Capricorn energy. Time to start again. So offer a moment just right now, like, thank you. Everything is lining up. Look at the swirl of energy. Look at all the colors in this card. Appreciate the work that you're doing. Let go of what isn't working and know that as you begin again, you bring forward all that you can that is serving you at this time, offering that gratitude. Beautiful card. And then the third card is the Son of Wands. This is all about that passion and desire. This is your purpose. All right, don't let anybody dim your light for this. Look at this. This is a young, innocent card. Look at that snake, transformation. Look at that burst of energy, fire. This is that, you know, look, it's orange and yellow, that passions, desire, your power, your desires. So this is what we want to bring forward. Get out of the comfort zone and into that purpose that you're here to do. And as we've moved into 2020, you could shift. You could find new purpose. This is exactly what this energy is about. All right? Use your intuitive abilities. Use that psychicness. Trust your gut. Be strong in who you are. Really bring that prana in. Radiate that light. Stand strong in who you are. Gratitude for your work. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Things are going well. All right, maybe you're not exactly where you want to be, but honor where you are, all right? Don't get yourself into that negative self-talk. Really raise that vibration and then put the, that fire, that passion, that desire, that burst of transformative energy out there for you. All right, beautiful cards and guidance for this week. We're moving into this energy. It's going to get a little intense out there as we move into this year. We're going to have a lot of that coming forward. I actually just did a podcast. It dropped yesterday on a 2020 prediction and all of this. So if you want to know a little bit deeper, be sure to check out the Empowered Spirit Show 2020 Vision. Some great information and a meditation in there as well. All right. Now, also too, I have to say, we did vision boards last night. I love it. Getting ready for the vision board I'm doing at on a, uh, 111 at Beacon Yoga. Come join us because it's not just cutting out pictures and putting on. We take the time. We look at the energy. We meditate with it. We write out intentions. Then we have the fun of cutting and putting together. And then we magnify the energy. So there is a few more spots left over at Beacon Yoga. Come join us. All right. Marissa says, highly recommend it. Yes, we've had more people sign up today. It was really great. And then you put it on your phone. And every time I open my phone, it's like this whole new energy. I didn't get a new phone, but it's new energy to work with. I really love it and highly recommend it. We have a great time. Beacon Yoga is a lot of fun. All right. So that is what is going on. I, well, I can pick some cards for you guys if you would like. I'm trying to see if there's any other announcements. I did set the Reiki schedule, so be sure and check that out. January 25th at Practice Works. I'll be doing some talks and lectures over there as well. All this you can find on the website. All right. Who is up for a card tonight? Thank you guys for joining me. Let's see. Whoops. All right. All right, Summer, how's it going? Let's do a card for you. All right. Alex, you're next. How you feeling, Alex? And then Maris. All right, here we go. Summer, Alex, Maris. Summer, this one is for you. The Magician. Summer, you know what this is. You got all the tools you need. Be the magician in your life. Direct the energy for what it is you want. All right, you know this. Look at that fire burst behind you. You've got it. Look at all the elements. You've got every element right here. You have the tools. You can do this. You know what I mean. All right? You got this, woman. I'm right behind you with support. All right, Alex and then Marissa. 
Alex, you drew the two of swords. All right, so this is about a decision. And this also too, look how it replicates that, that eclipse energy we're moving into. So what is it you're not seeing? What is it you're not seeing so that you can open up that energy and make a decision? You're a, bit, a little bit of wishy-washiness. And it's in the mental plane. Get out of there. Get out. I say this in the podcast. Get out of the mind. Drop it to the heart so that you can break this and make a decision for what it is you need. Let me know how that resonates. All right, Maris. Maris, this one is for you. All right, Marissa, this is Justice card. So this is kind of an interesting card. We have the black and white. We have the both sides. For every action, there is a reaction. So just being sure that, you know, you're looking at what you're doing and that you know that as you set this energy, and for you, especially on this new energy, it is going to pay off. It is going to have an effect down the road. We don't always see it right away, but just trust that this is coming in for you. There's always two sides to every story, but really, too, the energy you're setting out now is going to have an effect. That's where that justice comes in. It kind of balances the energy, all right? Great card for you. Keep putting that good energy out there. You're going to see it come around, all right? Definitely. All right, let's see. All right, Ava. Hey, Ava, this one is for you. Ava's got some great work coming up. Check it out. I just saw her post something about Tuscaloosa, Ava. All right, this one is temperance. So temperance is always a good card because it's a healing card, and it's a card about balancing the elements. Too much fire, too much water, particularly in this one. So it's where can you balance the elements for your own life right now? So again, with that energy of the full moon coming in, really check into that water energy, which is that cancer intuitive energy. You don't want to like, you know, like when we have too much fire, we put water on, we just get steam, right? So finding the way to balance the energy, checking in with anything else that may need a little healing, let it go, especially during this full moon energy. All right, good work on this card. I love the card when that comes up. It helps us to find that balance for our lives. All right, Camille, card two. And then, hey, Kate, you're next. And Millie, I'm going to come to you. All right, Camille, this is the six of swords. So this is an energy that says whatever it is, whatever you've been struggling with your mind, it's done. Let it go. There's no sense in going there. The more you struggle with it, the more you're going to hang out here. When if you let it go, you rise above, look at the rainbow up there. So it's done. Whatever that mental challenge is that you've been really churning over and over, let it go. It is done. Time to rise above it and move on. All right? All right. Hey, Kate, how's it going? Did you hear about any of your applications? All right. Let's see what the card is. And then Mayor. Hey, Mayor. We'll draw a card for you next. All right, Kate, the star. All right, don't give up hope. All right, reaffirm where it is you want to go. Reaffirm your first choices. Don't give up hope. The stars are shining for you. Go outside, look up, pick a star for your guidance. Know that you can do it, woman. You can do it, do it, do it. It's going to come through, okay? Great card. Yay. All right, Mara, this one for you. Daughter of Pentacles. All right, so this is about earth energy. This is about having some of that innocence of life, really thinking a little bit about how can you be a little bit more creative in the work that you're doing? Stepping out of the box a little bit. Look at the rainbow there. Lots of times the pentacles is like our earth energy, how we feel about our work, our life, even our body too. So maybe it's time to kind of have a little bit more of that innocence about how you go about it. Move out of the box, color outside the lines, all of that kind of energy as you move through this season, all right, or this next week at any rate, all right? So perfect. Yay. Yay. Hummingbird energy. Absolutely. Great card. Wow. Both cards spot on. Great. All right. See you soon. All right. All right. Millie, I didn't pull a card for you. Let's go. Whoops. Millie, about five cards fell out. Let me pick them up. <laughs> I'll just shuffle them again. Okay. All right. Millie, the high priestess. I love this card. All right. This is remind you, you have the tools, you have the skills, you have the knowledge. The earth energy and the moon. Look how you're sitting there very calmly. And it does, it kind of gives you that regal energy to know you have this underneath you. You don't have to doubt it at all, all right? So own this energy, all right? Especially as you move through this week, own the energy of what you know. Let yourself sit between the two and really bring in the mystery schools of all that you have gained and knowledge as you move forward into this week, all right? All right, good. Cool card. All right, Melly, let me know how that resonates with you. For some reason, my Facebook looks like it's stuck. But if I missed you, post again over here in Facebook or on Instagram. All right, anybody else? All right, perfect, Millie says. Mayor says, cool. All right, guys. 
some really great cards. It is going to be an intense week. I'm not going to say it's not going to be, but you can help work with the energy by aligning with the cosmos. You can, you can do this, bring those vibrations in. I've been talking about effortless discipline. All right. That's kind of, kind of be my guide because we need to have discipline, but it doesn't have to be so hard. So where can you find that as you move back into the work week this week? All right. If you're in the local area, come join us. The vision board is so much fun. It's so empowering. Come join us on the 11th. That's this Saturday. Check out the schedule. Definitely leave me some comments. All right. Be sure to send Reiki out at 7 a.m., 7 p.m. to Australia. As soon as they get this under control, we'll all be so much happier. And don't forget to take care of your own energy. All right. Thanks again so much for joining me. Did I miss anybody before I sign off? I don't see it. Can't seem to find that one. All right, guys. Check out the podcast. It's a great forecast for 2020. All right. Have a great week. Thank you so much for joining me. To your spirit, namaste.